Hey, what's good YouTube? Travis C here, and today, if you guys are familiar with my channel, it's that time of the month for a Poke Crate opening. So, without further ado, I've got a little bit of a dilemma with this Poke Crate. Now, don't worry, I didn't unsub because I love Poke Crate. You guys hear it every single time. I recommend that you guys check them out and subscribe to them. Uh, get these boxes, or even buy something from their store. They have lots of good stuff inside their store. Uh, however, this is my dilemma. I don't think they change color schemes. And for some reason, my bot happens to be red. Now, I didn't know what this means. I came home and I saw a red bot, and I was just like, I don't know what's going on. But I decided to go. And chat with some of my friends over in Goldenrod Tower. Hashtag plugs. Uh, and a little dragon fairy type told me that this this is a mega crate. Or the master crate. Yeah, it's not mega crate. I don't have the bracelet to make it a mega crate. However, this is the master crate. So you know what that means whenever you hear master in Pokemon. This is the one all to be all. Not, I'm pretty sure there's more than one. However, I did happen to get lucky this month. So, I have no idea what is inside of this. I don't even know what a Master Crate would have in comparison to a regular Poke Crate. So, I'm excited. Like, I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. <laughs> Without further ado, we're going to open this bad boy up. I hope you guys enjoy Be sure to like if you're hype. My cat just jumped. My family is yelling. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm hyped. I can't wait anymore. I want to open this crate. So, without further ado, let's get it opened. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open it up like this. I'm going to open it up like this. I, I, I peeked a little. I peeked a little. I saw stickers. Okay, okay, so we're just gonna grab it one thing at a time without looking, without looking. See my eyes? See my eyes? I already saw this, but I'm not looking. So we got some nice and powerful Gen 1 stickers? Are these stickers? Or are these tattoos? Oh, these are tattoos. Okay. So I got some nice and powerful Gen 1 tattoos. Right, I'm gonna put that Chansey on my, like, right underneath my eye. You know, kind of like a teardrop, as if there's gonna be a Chansey. That's how a real Pokemon, uh, Poke Thug is. Real Poke Thugs get chances under their eye instead of uh, a little teardrop. I don't know if you guys know, just as a quick bad story. Uh, if you guys have a teardrop, supposedly is supposed to mean that you've taken a life. Uh, so with the chancy thing, we could totally say that this is the uh, you stalled out somebody into the point they DC'd. You know, that, that's what we're going to go with today. That's what the chancy under the eye means. It's universal. I made it up. It's good. Alright. Uh, next up, we have... Yo! We got a t-shirt in here. Nice! I got a Poker Crate t-shirt. Yo, I like this. I dig this. Nice and powerful. Blue is my color, too. You know, so... This is powerful. Thank you, Poker. This is beyond fantastic so far. Ah, oh, dude. Poker Crate t shirt. That's nice. I have to wear that all over the place and all that good stuff. Right, let's see what else is in here. We got a car pack. It is Primal Clash. Oh, we got another one of these keychain things. So we can put a poker card in it. And there's a Venonat in there, which I'm not actually mad about because I like Venonat. Ah, uh, what else we got? I looked at it. Got a whole bunch of cards inside this pack right here. Alright. So, we got... Ooh! Dude, this is one thing I really love about Poker Crate. Guys, just shameless plug. For all you people that play the TCG, the trading card game, as you guys can, might be able to hear my cat playing with its bell and a plastic bag, because you know how cats are. 
they give you the finest of cards. So if you're a collector, a battler, you play competitive, Poker Crate's not bad for being able to get some cards inside your crate, along with a little edge or something, something. All right, so first of all, I'm actually going to go ahead and scoot closer. You know how I like to do, because I like to get nice and comfortable when we talk about these. So. <laughs> We're going to move this camera down a little bit. First off, we've got nice and powerful Taylo. Nice, nice, nice. Love me some Taylo. So, I love me that tail, though. Ooh. Tag, you understand when you're older. Uh, <laughs> next, we got a nice and powerful Pidgey. Next, we have a powerful Gliscor. I'm not mad about that. Nice and Gliscor. Gliscor is power like no one else would ever believe. Next, we got a Japanese. I believe this card is Recycle. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me in the comment section. I believe this is a Japanese Recycle got pocket monsters on the back and all that cool stuff I really love getting the, like the Japanese cards and stuff like that it just makes me feel happy <laughs> and next we've got oh and we got a prote uh, protective I, I probably mis said that uh, but it's a sleeve so it's just an empty sleeve we can put whatever we want inside of it which I appreciate uh, I will definitely have to put some of the rarer cards that I get inside of one of these so sooner or later all right, and that's the last thing out of our crate today is a XNY Primal Clash booster pack. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and open it. Let's see. Now I am going to go and pull them out. I already saw the first one, so I'm just going to start like this. We've got a nice and powerful tentacool. Uh, let's see. No, if you guys see. So it's lost in the waves. So lost in those feel-good waves that we're broadcasting out from Goldenrod. Hashtag another plug. But next, we got the most powerful of first gen. Not really the most powerful, but we got Rhyhorn. Uh, fun fact: When I was a kid and played through Pokemon Blue for the very first time, my second best Pokemon on my team was a Rhydon named. Ash. Don't ask me why it was named Ash, but it was named Ash. So that's something that I find really cool. I think I'm trying to get my camera to focus. It's not focus. <laughs> I had to show up my shiny teeth, fan me. Alright. <laughs> I really want the fairy odd parents for a moment there. Alright, now we got a nice and powerful Tiamo. And that was Water Splash. That seems like an actual move. Like, it sounds like a useful version of Water Splash. It's just like. I don't know. Honestly, it doesn't sound like it's useful. It's like 10 base damage, lowers the effectiveness of fire type moves. You know, that sounds powerful. I would run that on a Magic Carp and Little Cup. You know what I'm saying? Handle all them Chimchars. And nuts. We got a nice and powerful fire type. We got Torchic, the best of the third gen pokes. Don't agree with me. Well, I heard you like Mudkips, and I'm sorry to hear that. But when you want to go down in a blaze of glory, you got to go with the blaze of kin. Next, we got what you guys are. You guys, yeah, you guys. The star use. Yeah, because you, you a star. Ha <laughs> ha. We got a nice little star you here. And it's got lunge, so it's lunging at you. Like, it's coming straight at your neck if you don't agree with that. Next, we got a weakness policy. Nice, and put that on all my pokes because, you know, why not? <laughs> This po uh, the Pokemon that this card is attached to has no weaknesses. I've never seen that card before, actually. Like I said, I'm new to the trading card game. I collect them, but I don't really play. So this is actually really powerful, actually. Used in the right deck, I can imagine that to be a really good card. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Tell me, tell me if that's a good card, because I need to know. I just need to know. Next, so we got a nice and powerful Nito. Queen, yo, check out this Nito Queen. She's like coming at you. Like, you see that? See that? You see that? Like that? That right there? I I can't make my fingers move right. All right, there it is. Woo! That's that's her. She's like, catch that poison jab. My boy Poi knows a lot about that. Next, so we got a nice and powerful Bravo. Fun fact. 
third gen, when I was a kid, all I wanted was a Vibrava. All I wanted was a Flygon. I never got a Flygon. But I did get a Vibrava, and I like Vibrava. <laughs> so nice and powerful, nice and powerful. Got my nice and OP dough. Alright, next we got Professor Birch Observation. Shove your hand into your deck and flip a coin. If heads draw seven cards, if tails draw four cards. Alright, that reminds me of that card, uh, Gamble. Where it's like if you flip a coin and it's heads, you get eight cards. If you get tails, it's one. That's not bad, though. You get four cards or you get seven. That's not bad at all. And our last card out of the pack is going to be a nice and Sir Arthur, the dual blade. It's got false light and slash. That's pretty powerful. I am not mad at all. So that was our crate today, guys. Um, uh, I'm so ecstatic. That was an awesome crate. I am so happy. I'm probably gonna rock this uh t-shirt uh very shortly. <laughs> uh, I'll probably rock it. Uh, I'm actually going out on vacation. I'm going back to my hometown for a little bit, guys. And hopefully I'm going to recuperate, uh, get some of the stress off of me, and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm excited for that. And I'm totally going to pack that in my bag and rock that out over in my hometown. So I am excited for it. Now, without further ado, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like this video. And drop a comment down below if you have any comments about Poker Crate or have any questions for me. And be sure, I asked a lot of questions in this video, so be sure to answer those in the comment section below. With, and as always, guys, be sure to subscribe today if you enjoy my content. That way you'll be able to join YouTube's greatest travesty. This has been Travesty here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. You know your support is greatly appreciated. And, yeah, that's it for today. Bye-bye.